So the fight starts and Ichigo is out there talking crazy. He talking about some, I can't believe you drew your sword first. You really moving like a hoe. And I don't know who this man thinks he is. Because the last time y'all fought, you got cooked. My dog thought he was going to stroll into Waco Mundo, grab the 10 out of 10, and somehow walk out that hoe alive. No. no. This ain't the Soul Society arc no more, twin. You got to lock in. But Ukiora can't believe the man that he just switched cheese is talking like this. So he's like, oh, nah, I'm about to go back to back, no drizzy. And they start running the ones. And for those of you that don't mess with the manga like that, I'm going to need you to take a second and... Breathe, nigga. Breathe. No! Cause I'm not exaggerating when I say that every panel for this fight was generational. Like I'ma need Kubo drug tested for the way he was drawing these panels. Cause he was going crazy, I'm not going lie. But they start boxing and Ukiyori just starts asking these unnecessary ass questions. Talking about some, how did you get so strong? Is it because of that 10 out of 10? I'll TYB right now. Or is it cause you cooked up whole ass Grim Jow? Drop the method, don't play. But I'm reading this like, use your common sense. Of course he got stronger cause of the 10 out of 10. Cause y'all already know niggas gotta do the most in front of the hoes. They'll pull up to the function completely normal. And as soon as the hoes come around, they be like, Bro, you think I get too much money? Man. Shut your s but they continue to fight and Ichigo's out there dodging attacks and he talking about some, I'm fine. I can see his moves. I can react to it. He is no longer out of my league now. And this man was out there not even trying to use his sword. I'm telling you, when the hoes is watching, these niggas start acting different. He grabs Ukiyora by the arm and blicks him right in the chest. And he just starts talking his shit again. Damn, this 1v1's feeling real light. No Yagami. Oh! But Ukiyora don't play that. He's flabbergasted that the man he had twinning with when Goku is talking like this. So he starts teeing up. And you can tell he sat up in his chair because he starts it off with the craziest down air I done ever seen. My dog wanted that headshot expeditiously. And Ichigo is getting hold. He couldn't go ban for ban at this level. He was about to get hit with the craziest mix up of all time. But his main hoe or he may have to pull up and save him. And I might be down bad for this. But that one action alone, she would have had me. Like, take all my money, baby. We locked in for life. I got you. But after she hands out the assist, we got these sexy red thoughts all over my girl, Orihime. They out there squeezing her and covering her mouth talking about some, I'm gonna take everything you stole from me. And they start ripping off her clothes. And this really got me tight because they really about to get their freak on and not include me? This show is trash. But besides Ukiyora bringing Orihime to Waco Mundo in the first place, this is the first time we see him perform any actual villainy in this entire arc. Cause Ichigo is trying to save his girl and Ukiyora just keeps interfering talking about some, if your hoe dies, she dies. This gotta be the biggest form of hating I've ever seen. My dog said if I can't have any hoes, neither can you. I don't know whether to say that's tough or that's Yami comes out of nowhere. He slaps those two hoes up like it's nothing. And he was about to go after Orihime until the GOAT pulls up. Now I'm not gonna lie, Uryu's pull up game throughout this entire arc was historical. If it wasn't for Ichigo, he'd have the best pull ups in Bleach, no cap. But he calls Yami to an ISO and I'm not gonna lie, Yami got embarrassed right here. Cause he starts it off with the Michael Bay explosion back turn. I know his nerd ass finna post this on IG with this caption, the streets are like two gay niggas, they both make me hard. Yeah, just take him away bruh. But he sends Yami to link up with the third Hokage, and thank god that he did cause if I had to look at this man's trash ass cut for another second, I would have been able to finish recording this video bruh but he drops yami off and i gotta give him his props because this was an impressive feat because yami is pretty strong he just got outsmarted by a nigga who can't see without his glasses embarrassing but after he takes yami's last stock ichigo finally decides to take the fight seriously and i don't care what no one says holified ichigo is one of the coldest designs i've ever seen in anime it's such a simple design but it's so fire all at the same time and if you combine the way he puts it on with the screeching too incredible but Ichigo starts laying it on him. No diddy. He's out there cracking his sword and he got Ukiyora hitting these ballerina ass moves? Oh, nah. I'm not gonna lie, I was at the crib watching this fight switching sides like a thought. Call me Mary Jane. But Ukiyora hits a step back fadeaway Sero, only for Ichigo to block it like it was a gust of wind. He got this man in a seatbelt right now. He's on straight clamps. What's up with it? That's all you got? Show me something, little ho. Alright then, but remember, you asked for this. Pull up. So they pull up above the canopy, and once I seen the sky and scenery, I knew someone was gonna get dropped off. No Bruce. 
But Ukiyora tells Ichigo to get ready because he's been holding back this entire time. And then we get the first version of his resurrection. And I knew it was about to get critical when I seen his transformation spawn in Black Rain. Shit was giving me flashbacks to every time the Fire Nation would pull up on the Water Tribe and there would be black snow in that hole. Ichigo, you my dog, but I don't know about this one. And I already talked about the fit for this transformation in my first video, but upon further review, this fit might be worse than I thought. Like, why does it look like you're getting ready for a wedding, gang? Here comes the bride headass. Someone please get that shit off of my screen immediately. But Kubo really should have made this an all black fit. Cause the moment I blinked, he was already at Ichigo's head top. Yeah, I'ma need him drug tested right now. Cause neither me or the cameraman can track him. He's moving crazy right now. But Ukiyora hits one of my favorite lines in this entire show. He's like, you instinctively use the Getsuga. That's a wise move. Cause if you didn't, your head would be at my feet right now. That line was so tough that it's actually affecting me in real life. My phone started overheating as soon as he said that. That's how fire it was. But to add to that disrespect, he's out there pushing Ichigo back and he tells him, if the Getsuga is your ultimate move, use it right now. I'm going to show you that you can't go band for band with me. And Ichigo's like, yo, who the fuck? Launches the Getsuga at him just for Ukiyo to do the same thing that Ichigo did to him earlier. I'm telling you, this entire battle is just peak. While watching this, I just couldn't stop crying. Because this shit means me something, something to me, me, man. But I don't know why. Why I'm celebrating because Ukiyora starts cooking Ichigo. He's out there completely blowing off his mask, putting him in a blender. And where is Uryu while this is happening? Nah. No way this man is trying to riz while my dog is up there getting hold. You supposed to be sliding for your mans, nigga. But the only thing he's trying to slide in is Orihime's guts. But do y'all really think I'm gonna let that happen? Hell no. No, no, no. Now Ichigo was already getting cooked, but once Ukiyora sees that he's not trying to give up, he's like, oh nah, I gotta demoralize him. And then we get the actually cold transformation. Now, unlike the last one, not only is this a cold ass design, it's actually scary as hell. Like they did a great job with the intimidation factor on a lot of these transformations. Cause imagine this eight foot tall demon came flying at you like this? Oh hell nah, get away from me. But Ichigo ain't no hoe. He immediately gets into his stance, but before he can even react, Ukiyora is already palming his head like a Spalding basketball. Grabbing your op by the head like this is crazy. This man is out here doing some of the most disrespectful moves I done ever seen on a screen. He throws Ichigo into a pillar and before he could even move he's already grabbing him again. Ichigo tried to spin back by pulling out the mask but he I'm doesn't even get, get the, the chance because Ukiyora slams him in the face and he broke his mask again? No way my goal is getting done like this. But after all that, Uryu and Orihime go up to help Ichigo and this next scene just proves that these characters do anything once the hoes arrive to the spot because Ukiyora already had Ichigo in that now talk pose but when he turns to see Orihime standing there he's like, if I can't have you nobody will blasting a hole into Ichigo's chest and drops him off a pillar like he Kazuya I'm telling you he been waiting to do that shit the entire arc but Uryu finally getting off the bench actually comes in clutch and calls Ukiyora to a ISO he knew there was no way he could win and he's still out there trying to box and for that you got my respect my boy now even though he's a real one for this sadly he's getting cooked worse than anyone could imagine because he was trying to buy some time but Ukiyora is just out there destroying him he's tearing off his limbs and slapping him around with his tail like a father slapping his kid this is actually sad but while Uryu is getting cooked Orihime is screaming at Ichigo telling him to but I'm looking at the situation and I'm like, you might as well hop on Tinder, shorty, because it's a wrap. But as soon as all hope seems lost, all you see is Ichigo getting up off the floor talking about some, I will protect you! And I'm like, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's here, me! That's why he's the ghost! The ghost! Now, I don't know how a man could take a Cero point blank to the chest and just get up like that. But this transformation is so cold that I don't even care. Hollow Ichigo is top two and not two. And just to prove my point, this man starts screaming just to display dominance and immediately blicks Ukiyora in the face. And if that doesn't prove to you that this man is him, he literally gets back for Uryu in this same episode. Cause Ukiyora tries to get back by firing a Cero, but Ichigo pulls up behind him and he's like, Nah, you thought I wasn't gonna slide. And he straight gives him the Sasuke build right then and there. And it was in front of the hoes too? 
Embarrassing. Embarrassing. But even after losing an arm, Ukiyo is still talking mad smack. Like my dog, I don't know if you know this or not, but we reviewed the footage. We see you getting put on a mixtape, getting dragged by the head and all. I'm like, nah, get him out of here, girl. And just to prove that they're not on the same level, Ukiyora takes out his weapon only for Ichigo to pull up talking about some, remember you said I couldn't go band for band, and with his bare hands destroys his weapon. And for the first time, he knows what it's like to feel fear. You can see it in his eyes. I'm like, nah, Ichigo, why you violating my mans like this? But to finish him off, he strikes him with his blade, steps on his head, and then hits him with a full-powered cell from point-blank range. You see him come out the smoke and he's carrying Ukiyora by the wing on some choo-choo, open wide, straight babying his little ass. But it takes Orihime to finally break him out of his hollow form and it ends with Ukiyora getting sent to link up with the third Okage. But all in all, great fight. There's definitely some clips that I forgot to throw in here that just adds to how saucy this fight was. But this is definitely one of the best fights if not the best fight in Bleach. And if you somehow live under a rock and have not seen it, I advise you to check it out. But I'ma get out of here and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.